All right, now that we have our microcontroller connected with the pins, we need to connect the ground and VCC. Uh, so the microcontroller is going to be connected to the whole board. So when we put a potentiometer, for example, here, the ground and VCC connections are going to be connected directly to the ground and VCC connections here, which then are going to the computer or the power supply. So then this is actually active and working. I'm going to be using these three wires that I prepared here simply because they have different colors. And because this is an educational program, I want to make sure that we can see the difference. But for you guys, you can use the wires that you received in the kit, uh, because these are actually uh, much nicer <laughs> in terms of quality than these. But uh, for this purpose, I think this is going to be easier for us to work with. So let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this little wire here and connect it to ground like so. I should actually show you that I'm following the diagram. This is pin 48 and pin 48 should be connected to ground, just like in our diagram. And the second wire that should be connected is also an analog ground from pin 20. So let's do that. I'm going to connect 20 directly to here. There we go. And then I'm going to connect the VCC into pin 29 like so. Now let's solder these pins. And these look pretty good. I'm going to also connect this and I'm now realizing that I have my microcontroller connected. So I have a bit of a height, I can take it out. Not that it matters that much, but it will make my life a bit easier. I'm going to cut the axis. Nice. I can now connect my microcontroller back in. Great. Now that we have our VCC and ground connected to the microcontroller, we can go ahead and add a few components in the next video.